Well, these aren't exactly the green, green hills of eastern Kentucky. <laughs> so uh, this is the terrain in Mexico, basically, that, I, that I'm in right now. So I told you I was going to put together some slideshows, so I'm going to do it. Um, the first one is going to be about the Trans-Kentucky Transportation Railroad, which is still in existence, but barely. Um, it used to haul coal from Paris, Kentucky to Maysville, Kentucky, and I'll show you a map of basically where those are at. All these pictures I took were in 1987, back in the good old days when they would just let you sign a waiver and wander around the yard and take pictures, do whatever you wanted. Um, it was a fantastic railroad. At the end of the video, this video, I'll show you how many videos are on YouTube if you want to go in and check it. Of course, the older locomotives, like um, the ones that I've got pictures of, most of those aren't in the videos, but uh, of course, you know Jawtooth, the Cincinnati Eastern has two of their locomotives, but um, I think you'll really get a kick out of watching some of the videos. These things really smoke, and they got five or six of them tied together. So this is a Baldwin VO-1000. I never saw it run. Of course, now, I didn't really active rail fan this. I just went over there and took some pictures. Um, the next pictures you're going to see are some RS3s that they made into GP12s, and they're pretty interesting. Uh, so again, I would see them run every now and then. Here's the locomotive roster I got off Wikipedia. Don't know how accurate it is. Uh, they had a ton of U25Bs, which is mainly, mostly what I've got pictures of. Um, here are those RS3s that they made into GP12s. I don't know who did the did the conversion. That's just what the roster says. That they were GP twelves. Pretty unique looking locomotives. This next one is a slug, and it says on the roster, Railway Supply Company made this thing. So, again, pretty interesting unit. And now we're going to get into a whole bunch of U twenty five B pictures, and it's just going to be a slideshow of them. Uh, most of the, the static ones were taken in 1987. Uh, probably some of the moving ones might have been taken a little bit later, not sure. But man, I love, you know, the Pittsburgh and Lake Erie, Burlington Northern, there's next Rock Island one in there. Just really fascinating stuff. It was a really cool railroad. Uh, I wasn't really interested in modeling it though, because I liked uh, more diverse traffic than just coal. But it was fun to watch, I'll tell you that. Let me show you where the railroad physically is located. This is Lexington. Of course, I live in Georgetown. This is Paris, Kentucky. Now, Paris is on the old l and main line, comes from Winchester, comes up through eastern Kentucky. There's a coal branch that comes into eastern Kentucky, down from Irvin, or into Winchester, they're called Patio Junction. Um, so the main line went from Winchester to Paris, to Cynthiana, to Falmouth, and on up to Cincinnati. They had a branch line that went from Paris to Maysville. l and abandoned that line in 1979, or they were going to abandon it company bought it. The company had a transload facility on the Ohio River. So they got coal from CSX at Paris and they ran it over the line through Carlisle and all basically along Route 68 up through there. Steep grade, sharp curves, had a lot of locomotives. There were almost 99% of the business was coal. That's all they did. They ran full coal trains with five, six locomotives uh, on them from Paris to Maysville. They got on the CNO in Maysville. They had to run around the train, go back. The, the transload facility is actually a little bit east of Maysville. They had to um, dump the coal there. They had to get back on the CNO and then back through Maysville and then run around the train and, and come up out of the, climb up out of the Ohio River Valley and back to Paris where they interchanged the, uh, returned the empty cars back to CSX. So that's where the railroad was located. This is what the area looks like today. This is CSX heading north. It's coming into town from, from Winchester. 
Um, they use this yard mainly for storage of coal cars now. All the pictures I've got of all those locomotives, all that stuff is all right in here. You know, now CSX is still using this as a transfer facility. If you look right there, and I'll try to zoom in a little bit, uh, there's still some XTTI locomotives parked right here. I assume they still say TTI on them. As far as I know, the turntable is operational. If I would ever win like hundreds of millions of dollars in the lottery, I'd buy all this and I'd uh, move the Bluegrass Railroad Museum in Versailles, Kentucky over here and rehab the track so they could have a nice long run. I don't think it's ever going to happen. But anyhow, this is the area we're focused on. So let's go back out a little bit. A couple things I want to point out. The Frankfurt and Cincinnati Railroad used to come right in through here, tie into the l &N, and go up here and it would, uh, you know, the, the depot that's now the restaurant uh, is where they terminated that. And right here, I'm gonna have to go out of this to get it. This is an old cigarette factory. There's a smokestack and a water tower there. And the water tower still says Chesterfield cigarettes on it. So let me go out of this and I'll uh, see if I can zoom in on it. It's hard to see. So there's the water tower, smokestacks hidden behind the trees, but still says Chesterfield cigarettes on it. Uh, I think most of the rest of the facility has been torn down. It's been out of business for a long time. But I thought that was kind of interesting. So let's get back to the slideshow. Again, I don't consider these great works of art, great photographs or anything. I uh, just want to get them out there. Hopefully you guys enjoy them. If anyone sees something they want to copy, want to screen grab or something, I have no problem with it. You know, I don't think anyone's going to take one of these and sell it for uh, <laughs> a lot of money. If you put it in a newsletter or something, give me credit for it. But besides that, feel free to use them however you want. Um, I just love these long concepts of these filthy locomotives. They're just great. Don't have a lot of information on them. Again, it wasn't something I was really going to model. I just thought it was a cool railroad to take pictures of, and I lived not that far away. So we're getting into some of uh, the equipment that was sitting around the yard that I talked about here pretty soon. Uh, you're also going to see some more modern photographs mixed in. You'll start seeing a couple yellow noses here and there. Just like right here's one where I just happened to catch it. Um, you know, you'll see the more modern paint scheme. This bridge is in Millersburg, really lightweight. I'm surprised at how they haul coal trains over it. Here's one of the more modern paint schemes. Maybe that's why they only had four axle locomotives because of that bridge. I'm not sure. Again, I never saw this caboose move. Don't know what happened to it. This is just the engine facilities. It's all cleared out now. But boy, it was a fascinating place to poke around. And they didn't care. They just let me walk around whatever, whatever I wanted to do. Wouldn't that be cool if had a steam engine in there <laughs> and you could run excursions so you're going to come up on um there's a restored depot in ewing kentucky kentucky picture several years old hopefully it still looks that good i doubt it and then the picture of the depot in uh, carlisle kentucky i just took that a couple weeks ago because I want I knew I was gonna make this video so I wanted you to see it uh, it's pretty cool right downtown and the tracks ran right through right through town So to wrap this up, if you go to YouTube and search for Trans-Kentucky Transportation Railroad, there's a fan, some fantastic videos. Um, this one here, this 2015, that's just about when they were done. Um, there's drone views. There's uh, shots showing the um, transload up at the Ohio River. 
But I really like this one though, because it's 1992. It's got the old smoking locomotives <laughs> on it. Uh, about two minutes and 25 seconds in when they're hauling that empty coal train up out of the higher river valley, they're working hard. So again, there's some really good information on it. You know, LN Productions has one. It's, you know, what is it? Uh, 21 minutes long. Here's another one in 2015. So uh, Joe Nugent, he's a guy that I know in Lexington. Aerial views of the, uh, there. But most of these are 20, 30 years after the pictures I took. Uh, this one is a good one because it's got the, the depot at Flemingsburg Junction. It's where the Flemingsburg and Northern used to join in. It was abandoned in 1955. That depot stayed there for a long time. It was getting really rough. And I took pictures of it. Can't find the pictures. Next time I went by, it was gone. I was hoping that somebody moved it. But I did some research and, of course, an arsonist got it. So that's a shame. Uh, but there's several good videos on the TTI if you want to, to look at it. Again, there's not that many on the older ones, like, you know, the pictures I've got. Uh, this TTI railroad, one time the Kentucky Central, there was a division of the was National Railway Historical Society that got hold of a steam engine. And this is when the, local, when the railroad was privately owned, and they were going to let them run steam excurs excursions on it. And they actually did run a couple. I think Greg Scholl had a really good video on it uh, one time, but once CSX bought it back, that was the end of that. That engine is now on display at a park in uh, Nicholasville, Kentucky. Uh, I think it's at the Riney B Park, but it was steamed. I mean, it, it was steaming in this uh, in, in the 90s, um, but they didn't have anywhere to run it. So anyhow, that's, um, you know, about it. Uh, you know, I hope you guys uh, got a kick out of this. If you're interested in seeing it actually run, check out some of these videos because it was a, a fantastically fun railroad to to watch. If you like, uh, it's like Alcos and honorary steam engines because <laughs> those GE smoked about as much as Alcos. Everybody, stay safe.